It seems that 2020 was a year of unloading properties for Reese Witherspoon. The actress sold both her main LA mansion for $17 million and let go of the family's picturesque Malibu vacation home, turning a profit. By the looks of her Instagram, Reese spent most of the year at her Pacific Palisades home, which leaves us wondering where she'll be moving to next. At the moment, she and her husband Jim Toth still own properties in her native Nashville and a place in the Bahamas. We'll check out some of Reese's homes and we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Laura Jean Reese Witherspoon is an actress, producer, and entrepreneur who's received many awards and accolades over her long running Hollywood career. These include an Academy Award, two Golden Globes, and more, not to mention she's one of the highest paid actresses in the world since 2019. Born in New Orleans, Louisiana, and raised in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, Reese began her career when she was a teen with her on-screen debut in The Man in the Moon. A few years later, she had a leading role alongside Mark Wahlberg in Fear, a movie I absolutely love, and had her breakthrough in Cruel Intentions in 1999, yet another classic. Later, she gained even more recognition playing Elle Woods in Legally Blonde and its sequel, and playing June Carter in Walk the Line, which won her the Academy Award. The years that followed brought a variety of movie roles for Reese, and she also begun to work in TV, starring in the HBO drama Big Little Lies, as well as a couple of other series. Aside from her Hollywood career, Reese owns a clothing company, co-founded a production company, and is actively involved in children's and women's advocacy organizations. Considering all of her projects and success, Reese is amassed an estimated net worth of about $200 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell we post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so today we're taking a look at the homes of actress extraordinaire Reese Witherspoon, including her properties in Malibu, Pacific Palisades, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. In spring 2020, it was reported that Reese quietly sold her main mega mansion in Los Angeles in an off-market deal. The actress and her executive husband Jim Toth let go of their longtime residence on the posh Pacific Palisades Riviera that Reese purchased in 2014 for $12.7 million. This time around, it's been successfully sold for just over $17 million in an all-cash deal. Clearly, the value has gone way up, and Reese made a few bucks on the sale, but back when she moved in, the estate was still under construction. Not to mention she spent a lot on costly upgrades, even the installation of a hedge that makes the entire front of the property private. According to neighbors, Reese also added a guard shack on the nearly half acre lot for full time security. Since this time around the mansion was never listed on the open market, updated details are pretty scarce. However, with some careful digging, we found the old listing photos before Reese renovated the property so you can get an idea. The home is a large two story mansion built in an East Coast traditional style by noted architect Ken Unger, who's a celeb fave. Inside, her house spans over 10,000 square feet of space with five beds and seven baths. Old photos show the estate decked out in a lot of simple and neutral interiors. We already know Reese got the place redone more beautifully. There's reportedly an open floor plan throughout with large formal dining room, living room with fireplace, and large family room, all offering amazing views from the windows. Most common rooms also open to the expansive terraces outdoors, which are perfect for entertaining. More recently, Reese has shown off this home herself, like when she was featured on the Netflix series The Home Edit. She opened the doors to her LA mansion and revealed gorgeous blue decker. The entryway of her home has wooden floors and soft blue and white wallpaper. The house is just as sunny as the actress herself. We could see the airy front room with crisp white carpets, blue and white furniture, and large windows. It's clear that this color scheme runs throughout the estate, which we can also see on Reese's Instagram. In Reese's living room, she has an entire wall of bookshelves where she would also keep her original scripts from movies she starred in or produced, or both. Here, she also has a grand piano and two large brown leather sofas where she likes to curl up with a blanket and a good book. The kitchen has made a ton of appearances on her social media, and it boasts gray blue cabinets, an oversized marble center island, and large front doors opening to outside. Her dining room features a long, dark wooden table and a spiky edge chandelier overhead. One of the nicest features of Reese's estate has got to be the yard. Aside from the manicured lawns, there's a spacious patio perfect for dining outdoors 
outdoors, a fruit and vegetable garden, trampoline, and a sparkling pool and spa. While Reese is notoriously private, this is the home base she's shown off the most, and even though she sold it, it appears this is where she's most recently been living. I'm not sure if she and her family have officially moved out yet, but I guess we'll have to keep our eyes out for when she purchases a new home and where she's headed. Now let's take a look at another place Reese just sold last year, her vacation getaway in Malibu. Just six months after she sold her main residence, we checked out she and her husband Jim also let go of this property in an off-market deal for just over $6.7 million, which means Reese made nearly 500 k more than she paid for it the summer before. This picture-perfect hobby farm property sits on about two acres of land and offers multiple structures. The buyer, Meg Haney, is a divorced heiress in her 40s who just like Reese Hills from Tennessee. While the property was originally built in 1950 as a humble mid-century ranch, it was modernized and renovated by a couple who used it as a wedding venue prior to Reese buying it. These days, there are boho chic interiors with open plan living areas and three vintage-inspired beds and three baths throughout. The home is located creekside down a private and fully gated driveway. Inside Reese's former Malibu pad, there's a galley kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances, as well as a living and dining room with white beam ceilings and hardwood floors. There are also luxury finishes throughout, a radiant heat, a hammer coppered farm sink, and custom fixtures. Reese's Malibu home was charming both inside and out, and elsewhere on the property there was a barn style guest house with full kitchen, as well as a separate art studio and screening room in another structure nearby. I love the screening room best where there's a sprawling comfy couch and bar. Outside there are even well maintained horse facilities all close to miles of trails, and the Instagram worthy spaces don't stop there. There are orchards, gardens, and plenty of patios for outdoor dining. Considering Reese sold both her main Pacific Palisades home and her place in Malibu, it kind of leaves us wondering where she'll be calling home. For the moment, the actress continues to own a multi-million dollar oceanfront home in the Bahamas in a members only gated community and several homes in her native Nashville. Some of her Nashville properties though are reportedly occupied by her family members. We do know for sure that this is one of Reese's Nashville properties. This beautiful manor home oozes class and elegance and the property has a lot of southern history. Reese and her husband bought the four bed three and a half bath home in 2014, paying $1.95 million for it and it sits on six and a half acres in the posh Oak Hill neighborhood of Nashville, near the governor's mansion. Reportedly a prominent local family built the nearly 4,000 square foot home and only a year before Reese bought it, it was saved from being torn down and replaced by a modern McMansion. The owners who saved the place also painted the interiors, refinished the wood floors and gutted spaces like the outdated kitchen before putting it back on the market. Whoever bought the historic home would also need to sign a deed that they wouldn't replace it. Reese and her husband decided to purchase the place as well as finish fully renovating. Pictures show this stately home has large rooms, high ceilings, and oversized windows throughout. It's formal yet charming with features like a grand staircase, paneled library, three fireplaces, and much more. Of course, elsewhere on the sprawling property, there's a pool, a guest house, and even a stream running through the middle. Now, we don't know if Reese occupies this Nashville house or if family members live in it, but either way, I'm sure she still spends time here. After looking at these three homes, I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. We saw the two properties Reese Witherspoon recently sold, including her main mansion in Pacific Palisades she's long called home, and her Malibu retreat. We also took a quick look at one of her houses in Nashville. After seeing all three, which was your fave? You can rate her homes in the comments down below. I think my favorite was her Nashville home because it looked historic and elegant, then her Pacific Palisades mansion was a close second. I'm also trying to get verified on my personal channel and I need 1,000 subs, so if you haven't subscribed, please go do so. We'll link you here. You can get to know me a bit better and see what my home life is like. She was twerking on it just like a minute ago. <laughs> but it's hey, I wanted the explain this one. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tour you guys want to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.